Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Thirsty or not thirsty? <laughs> Now, ladies, this is gonna be one of my tough loved ones. This is this is a hey, this is the advice you getting from that uncle who ain't gonna like sugarcoat anything. Your big brother, your big homie, that good friend who ain't trying to uh, hit on you like that, but just gonna tell you the real truth. But yeah, y'all be messing some men up with that whole thirsty or that whole thirsty label. Now, ladies. Now, we both know y'all choose the men, but we also know that y'all not going to tip- typically not going to approach that man. Y'all might do some stuff to try to get his attention, of course. And if he look good enough and you just bold like that, yeah, you might approach. But let's be real. Most of y'all ain't going to approach that guy. So despite everything, despite everything you do, you expect that man to approach. And then even if it's not a particular man, I, I lost count I don't even bother paying attention anymore to the instances where a woman will say nobody's trying to talk to me or nobody's trying to approach you. Okay. But here's the issue. Here's the issue. I know why, you know, one basic reason why for the issue, but the issue is, all right, so if a guy do approach you, you, he gets called thirsty. And I don't mean some dude talking about some hey ma or being disrespectful. It might be a dude walk up to you. He's showing his interest. He's being straight up. He ain't on some bullshit. He ain't trying to run no game. He see what he want. He approach you and he be like, well, he thirsty. Or he coming on too hard. Or something. And, you know, a casual observer be like, nah, he just approached you. He wasn't disrespectful. Because it's funny. I usually call the ones who do approach respectfully thirsty. You know. Like the ones who are actually being disrespectful, sometimes they be getting it. Yeah, I know it. If he cute enough to you. And you know, you know, you see, he be trying to talk to him. He be he be doing all this, hey ma, you be like, he's so nasty. <laughs> but here's the problem. Here here's the problem with that. Here's the problem. Well, I well first I know why y'all do it, because you know, it's who you're attracted to. But sometimes y'all might, I've talked to some women, sometimes y'all say that about a guy, y'all say, well, he was attractive. But, you know, he might, because he might have approached or, or sometimes someone, y'all know some of y'all, y'all be like, well, why are you approaching me? But that's something within you. You know, that's your own self-esteem. That ain't the dude, dude know what he want. But you be calling him thirsty or something. And then, you know, some women, even if they think the guy's attractive, even if y'all think the guy's attractive, y'all be like, don't want to deal with him. Come up with every excuse in the world. Well, he thirsty. And okay, you know what? Despite what some women probably think, we're not dumb. We're not stupid. We like, you know, we'll slink away or whatever. The more calm among us just play it off like, well, you have a good day, sis. And walk off. Okay, fine. But then a funny thing happens. When the dude decide he want to just totally ignore you, and you don't want to approach, boom. You know what? I've been to some parties. I help sponsor, too, where the men didn't want to approach the women. And this ain't recent, either. It's, shoot, it ain't recent. This is back before we supposedly had all this trouble. But the men, they were just like, no, nah, we ain't going to approach you, period. But then, you know, the women looking at them like, and I've had women, I've had so many women say the following. It, it's like, Really? I, I just want to say, really? It's like, well, wait a minute. They'll say, well, no guy approaches me. No guy's coming up. No guy's trying to talk to me. And, you know, it'd be the same women. If you know them, like you cool with them, you watching, you say, man, about 15 dudes try to approach you. <laughs> Look, ladies, ladies, y'all got to decide on this. <laughs> y'all got to decide. Now, hold up. First of all, if a dude approach you, I say 90% of men who are going to approach you ain't players because there ain't that many players out there. 
a lot of y'all like to think there's a bunch of players. That's because you encountering a bunch of players. No, if that guy, first of all, if that guy approach you, and he approach you politely, which is always mostly the case. Like I said, y'all, y'all seem to like some of those rude ones sometimes. Not all of y'all. Let me be clear. I'm qualifying that statement. Well, some of y'all do. Yeah, you know, he play too much. <laughs> but... You know, you got you guys approaching you and saying everything. He's like, oh, he thirsty. I'm like, damn. And then if you talk to the women, it's like, well, did um, you know, did he disrespect you? No, he's very polite. All right. Um, so he did what a man's supposed to do and like be aggressive. Because here's the funny thing. I've heard so many women just say, oh, well, you know, he wasn't aggressive enough. Oh, what he doing? He just sitting over there. I keep looking at him. But thing is, he worried about you calling him thirsty if he approach. You know, well, you got some uh, dating coaches uh, on this on this platform. Well, not this platform, but you know, on YouTube, saying, "Hey, no free attention, don't validate them." You know, and you know, you looking at the, uh, and I know some women they ain't feeling it because you know everybody want validation, but. You know, the part of that thing came about is because a lot of guys would approach a woman, would try to talk, you know. But after a while, it's like, well, shoot, if you get enough women hit you up, say, oh, you too thirsty or something. And the funny thing is, the women might, y'all might check out that guy who ain't showing that level of thirst, but then that's the player. Then <laughs> you complain it. Y'all see how this is working. Y'all see how this is working. You know, and, you know, you got to find out, ladies, this is my advice on that. Find a happy balance. First of all, if a guy approach you and he, even if, okay, first, if he's not, like, physically attractive to you, I understand, but don't you don't have to call him thirsty. You can still let him down in a nice way. But then you get the guys who y'all find attractive. And, ladies, so many of y'all told me, well, he was attractive, he was cute, he was this or that, he dressed well, or he thirsty. <laughs> And it's like, well, you know what? Part of that thing is women, ladies, and this is something y'all got to stop doing. Stop assuming just because a guy look good, he automatically has a girlfriend. He might not. He might have been looking for you or a significant other. It don't work that way. And I know why y'all think that way because y'all feel, y'all know yourselves and y'all know somebody trying to grab at them. But contrary to popular belief, you got guys out here with standards. And you might have just met the standard, but when he approached you, you called him thirsty. Boom. <laughs> Boom. So, what? look, and I was going to get into uh, what needs to be done. Ladies, first of all, unless the guy, only time a guy should be really called thirsty, like say you meet him and then he calling you every two minutes or he hitting you up in Texas or something. Okay, yeah, he probably thirsty. But y'all be calling some guys thirsty before, shoot. He ain't even asked you for your phone number yet. And I've seen that. I've seen that. Dude approach you. Oh, he thirsty. I was like, damn, did you try to get your phone number? Well, no, he ain't thirsty then. You know, or even if he got your phone number, is he blowing up your text? Well, no, he texted you one time. You took 24 hours to text back. He, you know, he's like, oh, okay, I ain't going to bother. So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now I just laugh about it. It's the funniest thing. Like, ladies, it really do conf- uh, confuse the heck out of, like, the average dude. Because he's, like, he's hearing he's supposed I mean, he's been raised to feel like he's supposed to go get it, approach, be polite. Then he do it. Then he get called a name. And then he watched the dude who's sitting over in the corner eating the buffalo wings. Shout out Don Calypso because he's going to hit me up privately about that Buffalo wing thing. Uh, yeah, brother, I was traumatized. Those are some good-ass wings. I didn't want to be disturbed. But anyway, he's sitting over in the corner eating some Buffalo wings, and he getting the attention. Ain't <laughs> that some stuff? So anyway, that's all I really uh, got for today. So it's something to think about, ladies. You know, Like I said, I'm, I'm doing this as your uncle. You know, your Uncle Rom, your big brother, the dude going to tell you the real stuff. You know, just as long as the dude is polite, you know, he ain't thirsty, he just like you. Maybe you, maybe you're attractive to him. 
and maybe some in your demeanor and everything says you're attractive and he's feeling like, you know what, they go to Mrs. right there. All right? Now, I know he's supposed to be waiting for choosing signals or something like that, but come on now. He might have just did what Rom does and said, damn, looked at you, say, damn, she fine, and just went for it anyway. Be open for it. All right? What we calling a dude thirsty for finding you attractive. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you later. Peace and blessings.